And then I realized that adventure was the best way to learn. A Life with Love podcast, season one, episode one. Hey friends, I'm officially back home for a few weeks before I leave again. So I wanted to make sure I get down to business because boy, do I have a lot to share with you. This recent family trip we took proved to be one of the most adventurous and patience testing experience I've had in a while. It doesn't help that right before we left, I was in a funky mood and going through some stuff. I guess the runner in me was glad to take a break, but I must have brought that funk along with me. Anyways, to give you a little background of this trip, the husband's aunt, who lives in the States, decided to join a pilgrimage in Europe. They were supposed to go to Krakow, Prague, and then Munich. Emphasis on the words supposed to, because as it turns out, she tested COVID positive on her first night in Krakow and was obliged to self-quarantine in a hotel room for a week. So, no Prague and no Munich for her. We were very worried, but everything turned out good, and she's feeling so much better now. Originally, she was supposed to take a flight from Munich to Paris, and we agreed to meet up with her there. She ended up taking her flight to Paris, from Krakow instead, after testing negative to the COVID test. We were super excited to see her, especially after not seeing her for so many years. But like I mentioned earlier, we were in a weird funk. I remember that that last week at home was quite tough. It was pretty much one day, one bad news. The latest one being that our dog sitter tested positive to COVID as well. But thankfully, she was feeling okay and could still take care of her fur baby. So on Sunday, June 26, we took a Flix bus bus from Metz to Paris. What we thought would be a smooth four-hour ride turned out to be anything but smooth. At our second break, an hour from Paris, our bus driver could not insert the bus key into the ignition. It was simply impossible. It would go in about 80% of the way, but not 100%, therefore making it impossible to start the bus. We were so close to our destination, yet so far away. I quickly looked at my phone. The husband's aunt's plane had taken off. She was on the way. What were we going to do? How were we going to get out of there? What were our options? After watching the driver desperately trying to insert the key for long minutes, I realized we were going to be stuck there for a long time unless we hitchhike to Paris. But let me tell you this. That is easier said than done. I had technically never hitched hiked in my life before, but... Are we actually doing this, mom? That's so cool, said S, my 13-year-old teenager. Yeah, I guess, I answered reluctantly. So I did the next best thing. I asked my husband to get us a car. With his thumbs up in the air and a smile on his face, he attempted to get us a car, which only resulted in the driver smiling back at him with her thumbs up too. Therefore, I concluded that a thumbs up does not catch you a car in real life. That's only in the movies. In real life, you gotta get up to the driver and ask nicely. So after that failed attempt, we managed to convince a man to take us to Paris. He was alone and driving a nice car. I figured I had nothing to lose at this point of this adventure, so I just went for it. His face was expressionless, barely saying anything, but he offered us a ride anyways. It was awkward at first and we didn't quite know what to do, but he started asking questions and I answered them. I figured he probably needed to be reassured. Then the situation took a whole new turn. Turns out the man works for a company which exports goods to our island in the Philippines and that he had already visited our beautiful country. What are the chances, right? The world is indeed small. The man eventually opened up, smiled to us, answered our questions, and when I asked him, how can I repay you for your kindness? He simply answered, lighting a candle for my little Matthew will do, as he knew that we were going to Lourdes in a few days. Thank you, friends, for listening to the episode one of our podcast. As I mentioned in the trailer, Saturday episodes are dedicated to any questions you might have about our adventures, about us, about you, about anything. So please don't hesitate to send us your questions to our email address or Instagram account. 
Take care, my friends. And always remember, la vie est belle.